Okay, you welcome to my channel today again. My name is Mepa Choli Samuel. And please, if you are coming to my channel for the very first time, you are welcome. And please, I would like you to always stick around. Yes, today it's actually uh, not a news again that Cardinal State University, under the uh, guidance of Cardinal State government, have increased their tuition fee. I'm taking a stroll around Cardinal State University now, the main campus at Tafua Balewa Way. Uh, to see reactions of students. Among the people I met was the chairman uh, Cardinal State Student uh, Concern Forum, which is the person of uh, Muhammad Ayu Comrade Muhammad Ayuba. I am the chairman Cardinal State Student for Concern Forum, and I am also student representatives here in main campus. Good. Um, the issue of increment being true, it is true, it is real. It has come to stay. Because as you can see now, um, a lot of students have started paying their new tuition fee. Instead of before, instead of you to go and pay that formal tuition fee, fee of 26 or 23,000 Naira, now you have been allowed to go and pay 150,000 Naira, 400,000 Naira, and 100,000 Naira. As a citizen, oh, sorry, as an indigent of Kaduna State, um, the non-indigent some it 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 is based on ranges, ranges maybe in the name of maybe department by department. If you are maybe in the social sciences, it's 150. If you are in sciences, 300. And we also have some that used to also pay 400,000 naira. Looking at the new school fees, school starts from the range of 150,000 naira for indigents and 200,000 naira for non-indigents. This fee always depends on your department as at social science management and, uh, and uh, ed education pays 150 for indigenous and 200,000 naira for non indigenous medicines pays 300,000 naira for indigenous and 500,000 naira for non indigenous as allied me medical sciences and pharmacy pays two, uh, three, 250,000 naira for indigenous and uh, 300,000 naira for non indigenous as compared to the three 30,000 naira earlier. Let's see if it's good for the students. Um, you know, um, this issue of what do I think, whether the increment is good or it favors the student. No, the increment is not good and it will not in any way around favor the student. It will just affect the student, whether we like it or not. Because this increment will lead or this increment will allow some student to automatically withdraw from the school. As I'm talking to you now, a lot of students have been withdrawn automatically from the school because they cannot afford it. Not only they cannot afford it, students are now in the campuses, they are attending lectures, but none of them have started registration. That is those people that cannot afford it. It is only those people that can afford that have started their registration. And let me tell you something, out of almost 50%, it is only 35 to 40% that were able to pay full payment. The remaining, they were just paying that supplementary payment or that half payment. The remaining are just paying off only half payment. You can see the majority of the student now, they cannot even afford to pay the full payment now. What they are doing is they go online, they print out their uh, 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 fees form, they go to bank, then they will pay half of the money. Because they are, there is no way they can afford paying that 100000 150, 300,000, or 400,000. So let me tell you, in conclusion, what I want you to understand is that this increment is affecting the student and the parent of the student, or and the parent of the stu students, negatively, because it is now trying to tell us that students are now automatically withdrawing and gradually withdrawing from the institutions. The truth is that we are not happy about it and um, it's so unfortunate that there's nobody in Kaduna that even answered our call. I feel sad about the increase of school fees because most of students are not paying their school fees. You should have thought of that. Some go and cause you to look for money just to pay for the school fees. Now that he increased the money, much too many students will drop out of school because of lack of money. Me personally, I'm even thinking of forfeiting the admission because there is no means of paying and if you check the country right now, it's really hard. What's going on in the country, kidnapping everywhere, terrorism, and stuff like that. So I think the state needs to look into this issue. They need to actually kind of change everything 
and also think of a way of helping not only the students but also their parents also because so let me tell you something the main reason why they say they increase the tuition fee is because secondary school students that is the private are paying almost 150 naira per month 50,000 naira per month well in the institutions in uh, in the high institutions people are just paying 26,000 or 27,000 so this is the main reason why they said let them increase the tuition fee and another reason is that they said they want to raise the standard of the institution that is why they increase the tuition fee and the, the, the question is if you want to raise the standard of the institution must you exploit the student to collect something or must you exploit the student to 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 to, to collect higher than what they are paying before you increase the standard of the school no and there is no way you can do a comparison or you can compare between a, a, a public institution and that of the private institution you cannot compare. If these people that are paying 150,000, they are private institutions, then the school is not a private institution. The school is public institution. And we know the kind of uh, uh, differences that exist between private institution and public institution. One is private oriented, while the other one is what? A service oriented. So there is no way you will turn a service oriented institution to a profit maximization institution. I took a walk around the school and I noticed that most of the buildings, if not built by the debt fund, uh, they were refurbished by debt fund or CBN and some other organizations. So I still have this question in mind that this school has not been sponsoring this. What are they going to use this whole money for? This is the <laughs> this is this is a very nice and interesting question. As you can see, you have said it already. Just see, just look at the institution itself. All the buildings that you are seeing surrounding the institutions are not built by the state government. It was initiated. It was built by the what, federal government under the, the, the watch of NEETS, under the watch of Tedfone, under the watch of the central bank. You can see all these buildings that you are seeing surrounding all the institutions. It is not done by the state government. And this is to tell you that the federal government, whenever it's come to in, uh, infrastructure, the federal government is, 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 is the alpha and the omega of the institution of the Kaduna State University itself. Because as you can see now, all the buildings you are seeing, all the infrastructures is not done by the state government. So this is to tell you that the, even the infrastructure's capability of the institution itself is under the watch of the federal government. If you say you are going to do, increase and improve the standard of the infrastructure or the standard of the institution, thereby without even putting you on one single Naira or one single Kobo in the institution, how then are you going to improve the standard of the institutions? Improving the standard of the institution is introducing or introducing something new. You understand? Like innovation. Like making sure that the lecturers have been, the, the needs of the lecturers have been catered for, the needs of the students have been catered for, then we may be able to have like if not first class, like second class infrastructures. But you can see no first class infrastructure. The second class infrastructures that we are benefiting is also from the third fund. So there is no way you can tell us that you want to improve the standard of the institution without spending in the school. So what you are collecting is higher than what you are going to even spend in the institution. So this is to tell you that it is, the increment was just there to exploit the children of the poor. The increment was just there to, 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 to prevent the student of the poor to go to school. The increment was there to, 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 to sack automatically to pursue away the student of, of the children of the poor from the institution so that the children of the poor should become slave to the what? to the children of the elite. So you can see, they deliberately did that. Anyone that cannot pay, you have to go back to home. And when you go back home, they should make sure that they are not coming back to work for them. They are going to where we don't want them to go. There is no way of me even telling them that it's a protest or not a protest because they know all what protest is all about. This is me as an individual and me as an individual having the backup of the constitution as it was stipulated in the section 36. I have to express my grievances. I have to use the media. 
understand i have to use the media and express and, and express my grievances it is not any sum of any demonstration it is just a form of expressing my grievances as a citizen expressing my grievances as a student and expressing my grievances as an indigenous of a kaduna state as i said earlier my name is uh, muhammad ayuba the chairman kaduna state student concern forum and also a student here in kaduna state university department of political science yeah, and that was how it went all with my people there. And taking a good look at the school university, it's looking more scanty and people are not plenty as it used to be. And also, I, I would like to employ my viewers. Please, what's your take here? Sorry, sir, your name and department. My name is Mohammed Kevina, a student of political science department. I'm also the vice chairman concerned Kaduna State students. Now what do you have to say about the increment in school fees, sir? The increment of the school fees in this inst in Kaduna State Institution is nothing but an in a way in which that the government is systematically trying to deprive the student of the four from attending schools. And how do you feel this is going to affect the students or the institutions? Sir? It will affect the students. Most of the students are sponsoring themselves. They have to go to work after school. Apparently, some of them don't even have the capacity to pay the already existing fee, the one that was, you know, uh, changed to this new one. So now you are trying to pressure them. How will they cope with school and work at the same time, trying to manage their time in school to go to get out with good results or to get out with good uh, class of degree that will en ensure that they got a better job to prosper in life. By doing this, you are denying them that privilege or that opportunity for them to have that requisite that will enable them enhance their development in the society. I would like to tell people saying this, that this is what is going on in Kaduna State, and if you have someone because this increase has come to stay by the look of things. So if you have someone uh, as a student here in Kaduna State, the only way is to assist him with one or two, to assist him financially in order for him to reduce the burden imposed on him by the state, uh, school fees wise. It's a very nice look from the school here and I would like to employ everybody just like I've said earlier, you tell me your take on this, is the school being fair, is it being nice or not, checking it that uh, most of these infrastructures are being sponsored by the state, uh, the federal government and is it okay for these people to suffer like this and what do you think will happen in the nearest future? Thank you very much, thank you, thank you. Like we called everybody, we called many people, the stakeholders of the state, and none of them answered our calls. It's so unfortunate. Like we are in a democratic state, and all these are happening. It is our right to express our our feelings, and it's it's, so, it's just so unfortunate and so unfortunate. Sure.